Hi friends, I'm Jamie from SoMuchBetterWithAge.com and I'm back to show you how to use different color waxes on furniture. If you didn't catch my last video, I was talking about how to wax furniture and why I use wax over furniture. So you might want to refer to that one first, but this one I'm going to show you how to apply dark wax. It can be kind of intimidating because it really is dark. <laughs> and so you want to make sure it goes on in a way that you can take off easily. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. First of all, let me tell you why you would want to use a dark wax. You have this nice white chair and maybe you want to add a little uh, different vintage detail to it. You can apply a different color over it without having to use paint to give you a different color. There are so many different color waxes out on the market. A dark wax is generally just like it sounds. It's either dark, dark brown or black. This antiquing wax is, I think, pitch black dark. But there's other colors as well. There's gold, rose gold, light brown, so many waxes on the market. So you can mix and match your paint color with your wax. And it really makes a very unique piece of furniture. What I love to do is paint a dark piece of furniture and then you can apply a white wax over it. So then it gives a distressed look or a, a coastal driftwood look and that's always really nice. I also love to paint a really dark charcoal piece of furniture and then put dark wax over top of it and it really adds a rich dimension to it and I will show you some photos of that in this video as well. My favorite waxes are the Annie Sloan wax line and fusion mineral paint waxes. This one's with Miss Mustard Seed. It's the same company. Um, I love this company, it's a Canadian company, but these are my two favorite kinds of waxes. So let me show you how I apply it and where you would want to concentrate on putting dark wax. So for this chair, we've already covered it with a clear wax and that is the number one tip I can give you when applying any dark, dark wax. You cannot just go and apply this to your chair. It will look like it's a dirty chair. You will start to put it on and you won't be able to rub it off. Um, the key is with any type of wax, you wanna put it on and you wanna take it off. So for any dark wax, you want to apply a clear wax first. So I have already done this chair, I've gone and put it on and I buffed it, but I am going to add a little bit more right now to show you. I would like some little detail in here to bring it out. So I'm gonna put clear wax right in here. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of the cloth. You can apply wax with a waxing brush like this or any kind of lint-free cloth. And again, refer to my other video on how to fully wax a piece of furniture. Now I'm going to take black just to show you what it looks like and what it can do. It's very smooth, it's very pliable, so we have about this much. We already have quite a bit of clear wax on it. You don't want to rub it off and now we're going to apply the dark wax. So you can already see what kind of effect it's giving. It's making you really see all the details and we're not going to leave it like that. <laughs> but just to give you an idea, we're now going to rub it off. And you just want to make sure you get to those grooves. And this is where your creative genius comes in. You could leave as little or as much of the dark wax on there as you like. And now because you have a base of the clear wax, you, it's so easy to remove. So, you know, maybe you wanna add a little bit more. And if you really want the wax to stay on, because if you wipe it off immediately, it's gonna come off immediately. It'll still leave a little bit left, but I would wait maybe two or three minutes before you wipe it off. And then you'll have that darker sheen to it. 
Okay, what if you add it and you don't like it? You can rub it out like I've said, or you can just add more of the clear wax and rub it in. So now there's not any around there, it's just kind of in the circle. So it really, it's like a two part thing. You need to have both together to make them work. You don't mix them together, you layer them. That gives you a little idea on how to use dark wax. I didn't want to do this whole chair, so this is why I've left it with the medallion, but that gives you an idea. For my blog post, I did a waxing tutorial, and I showed the difference on what it's like if you wax without clear wax but first. And so this side, I added clear wax and then dark wax wiped it off. This side, I added no clear wax beforehand, so you can tell it looks very smudgy. I really had to work at it to get the dark wax off. So it's possible, it doesn't work very well. I just wanted to show you the difference. It might be really hard because it's white, but I'm also gonna show you some photos, like I said, of other projects that I've done right now. Okay, and that's it. That's how easy it is to use a dark wax over your furniture. I hope you liked it. I hope you please comment below, tell me how I did, to share, and don't forget to subscribe. And to get my full tutorials on these posts, please head over to my blog at somuchbetterwithage.com.